Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll solve one more problem in which we are, we are supposed to compute the taxable income from profession of a doctor. Dr. Arjuna is a renowned medical practitioner. He furnishes his receipts and payments for the assessment year 23-24. So they have given the receipts and payment account. Then uh, they have given the, some additional information. So one third of car expenses is for personal use. So that means two third is used for professional use. Depreciation on motor car is 15%. Opening stock of medicines is valued at rupees 8000. So just ignore this information. Itu namge beka gila. Opening stock e information namge beda. Remuneration from articles includes rupees 3000 received from setting the question paper. And the income from other source barate, so it is not related to your profession. Now they have given the receipts side, left side is all your receipts, right side of your receipt and payment account stands your payments. So according to format first let us add all the professional receipts. So let us see the left side, we have uh, balance brought down, ignore balance brought down, consultation fees 3 years they have given as it is a cash basis so we will consider all the 3 years data so consultation fees all the 3 years data we have to add next visiting fees 30,000 we will include that also visiting fees 30,000 next sale of medicines sorry loan from bank for profession so 1,75,000 is a loan he has obtained from the bank for profession which is a capital expenditure capital income so don't consider that ignore the loan whichever is taken from the bank sale of medicines 70,000 that we have to consider sale of medicines 70,000 next sales tax on medicine sales tax is nothing but which is considered as your GST so GST whatever you have paid on medicines that is considered as professional receipt only next gifts from patient 50,000 that is also your professional receipt gift from patient professional receipt next remuneration from articles published in professional magazine it is 16,000 but if you see the adjustment they have told that 3000 rupees it includes 3000 receipt from setting the question paper so from 16000 we will subtract 3000 the remaining 13000 we will write it we will consider only that so that's all regarding professional receipts if you add everything you will get 298000 now let us deduct all the professional payments for your professional payments you have to look into the right side of your receipts and payment account First you have rent from clinic as the they have given receipt and payment account that means this medical practitioner is maintaining his books in the cash basis so all the three years data will be considered. So first one is rent of clinic all the three years data we will consider. Next Re electricity and water 12,000 that is also your professional expenses that also we will consider electricity and water. Next is purchase of professional books. Purchase of professional books is a capital expenditure. We will not consider capital expenditure but depreciation on professional books will be considered. So 18,000 into depreciation. The rate of depreciation for professional books is 40%. 18,000 into 40% will be 7,200. Next. sales tax on medicine so you have sold uh, medicines to your customer and you have collected gst which is your professional expenditure only because that gst you have to pay to the government that particular sales tax again you have to pay it to the government next purchase of a motor car so purchase of a motor car is capital expenditure but depreciation on motor can car can be allowed so they have specified the depreciation rate that is 15 percent so we will take it same so depreciation on motor car, the total value of motor car is 1,45,000, depreciation rate is 15%. But if you see the adjustment, 
the complete car is not used for the profession one third of the car expenses is for personal use so remaining two third is for professional use so only remaining two third amount we will consider so one lakh forty five thousand into fifteen percent into two by three that is fourteen thousand five hundred next surgical equipment so surgical equipment is a capital expenditure so we will give only depreciation so the rate of depreciation is 15% according to income tax rules so 47400 into 15% if you do you will get 7110 rupees next salary to nurse salary to nurse is 12000 rupees which is a capital expenditure next Advance income tax. So advance income tax we will income tax and code the line. Advance income tax also we will not allow. Next, entertainment expenses. So entertainment expenses is six thousand rupees, which is considerable. Next. Purchase of X-ray machine ninety four thousand five hundred. Again, purchase of X-ray machine is a capital expenditure, but we will allow only depreciation on X-ray machine. The total value of machine is 94,500 and according to income tax rules, the depreciation rate is 15%. So 94,500 into 15% if you do, we will get 14,175 rupees. Next. Expenses of income tax. So just ignore this also. Life insurance premium also you have to ignore. Gift to wife, ignore interest on loan we will consider because the loan is taken for the professional purpose interest on loan taken for professional purpose professional purpose 2000 rupees we will give as a deduction next loan account installment paid so installment paid is a capital expenditure we will not consider that donations any kind of donations we will ignore that Car expenses. The total car expenses is 15,000. Again, two third of the car expenses is only used for professional purposes. So only two third of the car expenses will be considered. Next. Purchase of medicines. 35,000 we will consider. So that's all about professional payments. If you add everything, you will get 1,55,785 that is your prof total professional payments your total professional assets is 2,98,000 from that if you deduct all the professional payments you get the taxable income from profession that is 1,42,215 this is how you need to solve the problem hope you have understood how to solve the problem in my further videos I will come back with some more problems related to taxable income from profession